a mistake. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me, or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. You keep away from me tonight. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy.
out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. It's come too far. Okay, people are just... What do you done to your face? It's nothing. You collecting feed? Looks like the supplies have been coming in. Huh? Again? The phones are all strange. I can't pinpoint the logic of transmission. You what? What are you doing with that paint? Means the EMC are actually moving at the proper speed. Listen, Frank. Have you uh, heard anything on the radio about a flu outbreak? Doesn't seem much like flu to me. They're shutting down access to the valley to try and isolate it. No. There's something about the phones. I can't put my finger on it quite yet. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm still talking to you. Where are you going? Is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clive? Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clive. Where are you? Damn it! Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. Come in, Tau 6. Kate, are you there? Kate! Anyone? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Stephen Appleton broadcasting from within the quarantine zone. Can anybody hear me? Over. Oh, God, no. No. Fucking hell, no! They close the tunnel. There's no trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard, is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. It's not right. It doesn't help me. Oh, this headache is just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. I've only spoken to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but with all the crossed lines. But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's the pattern. It's adapted. What are you doing here? You thieving bastard. I knew it was you. 
Listen, take everything you need, but then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here! Don't touch me! Get off! What's going on? Come in here, Lord! Get us over Sam? us! Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact! You stupid fucking missus! She's it. better than any of you! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Meg, please. Don't, don't come near me. Meg! <laughs> Charlie! Meg! Meg, wait! Don't, don't touch I, me! Please, you have to understand, it was an accident. Get Let go, let's just go. Charlie, you have to understand, it was an accident. Let's just leave him. Leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please! You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes. It's a hazard. I think he was hoping he could have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Oh, listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird feeder right now. Promise me you'll drop by. Stephen, I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate, and I, I can't blame you for that. But I can't wait for you either. I've got to think about the baby. And, um, well, <laughs> I should have left a long time ago. I've run out of excuses for not leaving now. But I do love you, Stephen. And I hope you find peace one way or another. Oh, there's planes coming.
was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. The fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. Later I found him crying. I'd done a Ken, son. That's what he said. I done a Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. You'll be all alone again, forever, like before. You've taken everyone I've ever loved from me. You've made me do things I never even thought I was capable of. But if you think I'm coming with you... Kate? Wait. Stop. This is Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left.
reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone, and we will join them. We are born apart, driftwood, on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole, the imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine.